I need the help of an experienced nurse, you see. Yes, someone to bring him food, take care of the room. I understand, yet it is somehow difficult. Well, I've been let down so far. He really is, that is, the regular sisters. Well, it is not part of their job and they will not do it. Be ordinarily kind of Mr. Merrick without, well... Oh, my good God in heaven! Oh! I'm sorry, uh, I thought... Thank you for saving the lodge this time. Excuse me. <laughs> You've let me down, you know. I did everything to warn you, and still you let me down. You didn't say. But I did. Didn't. You said just words. But the photographs. Just pictures. No one will do this. I am sorry. Yes. Did you of the odor, have they not? First chance I had to bet regular. And three meals a day delivered to your room. Yes, sir. This is your promised land, is it not? A roof, food, protection, care. Is it not? Right, Mr. Treves. I will bet you don't know what to call this. No, sir, I don't know. Call it home. Never had a home before. Well, you have one now, John. Say it. Home. Home. No, no. Really say it. I have a home. This is my... Go on. I have a home. This is my... Home. This is my home. I have a home, as long as I like. That is what home is. That is what is home. If I abide by the rules, I will be happy. Yes, sir. Don't be shy. If I abide by the rules, I will be happy. Very good. Why? Why what? Will you be happy? Because it is my home? No, no. Why do rules make us happy? I don't know. Of course you do. No, really, I don't. Why does anything make us happy? Like what? Like what? Don't be upset. Rules make us happy because they are for our own good. Okay. Don't be shy, John. You would very much like to make your acquaintance. Good morning, Mr. Merrick. I will see to a few matters. I will be back soon. I planned so many things to say. I forgot them. You are so beautiful. Good morning, Mr. Merrick. Really, that was what I was planning to say, that I forgot what I planned to say. I couldn't think of anything else. I was so excited. Real charm is always planned, don't you think? Well, I don't know why I look like this, Mrs. Campbell. My mother was so beautiful. She was knocked down by an elephant in a circus while she was pregnant. Something must have happened, don't you think? It may well have. It may well have, but sometimes I think my head is so big because it is full of dreams. Because it is. Do you know what happens when dreams cannot get out? Why, it has been a very great pleasure to make your acquaintance. John, your head. She wishes to shake your hand. Thank you for coming. And it was my pleasure. Thank you. What a wonderful success. Do you know he's never shook a woman's hand before? How nicely the model is coming along, Mr. Merrick. I've come to say happy Christmas, and that I hope you'll enjoy this ring in remembrance.
remember your friend by it. Your Grace, thank you. I am very pleased to have made your acquaintance. Please accept this silver-backed brush and comb for Christmas, Mr. Barrett. With many thanks, Countess. I am very pleased to have made your acquaintance. Here's the silver-topped walking stick, Merrick. Make your regular Piccadilly exquisite. Keep up the good work. Self-help is the best help. Example to us all. Thank you, Lord John. Very pleased to have made your acquaintance. Her Royal Highness, Princess Alexandra. The happiest of Christmases, Mr. Merrick. Her Royal Highness has brought you a signed photograph of herself. I am honored, Your Royal Highness. It is the treasure of my possessions. I have written to His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales to thank him for the pheasants and woodcock he sent. You are a credit to Mr. Treves, Mr. Merrick. Mr. Treves, you are a credit to medicine, to England, and to Christendom. I am so very... And in my time? It ain't do for a start. Not what they did for me. Yes, I am like others. And I am condemned. <laughs> I got no energy to try nothing new, John. We may as well go to the Doss House straight. Probably die there anyway. Between filthy Doss House rags, nothing in my belly but acid. I don't like pain, John! And the future gives pain sense. like a lost explorer with the great scoop of the undiscovered. She's so heaven. Well, I quote her. It was neither heavenly nor hellish. Rather like perambulating in the London fog. People drifted by, but no one spoke. London, mind you. was of enormous power, but so incapable of the distinction between the assertion of authority and charitable act of giving that it was often to be found disgusting Others for their own. The left arm was lighter and fairer. And may be seen in typical position, hand covering the genitals, <laughs> which were treated as a solemn colony in consonant of restriction, governance, punishment for their own. To add a further burden to his trouble, the wretched man when a boy developed a disabling spiritual duality, therefore was unable to feel what others feel, nor reach harmony 